All right, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be furthering our discussion on scheduled network diagrams, and specifically, we're going to be looking into float. And float is this thing that defines how much room you have to delay a particular activity within your project and still not affect your overall project's deadline. So in this case, we've already gone through in a previous video and looked at the table of our activities, dependencies, and durations. We've been able to plot out the relationship within a node diagram, which we've got right here to see how all of our tasks are related to each other. And then finally, what we've got and what we ended up with is our uh, network schedule diagram. And so from this, what we're able to see is that we were able to determine our critical path by looking at which activities on this diagram had late finish and early finish dates that were equivalent and or early start and late start dates that were equivalent. So here, what we saw, and this table is not correct, give me one second, um, this should be at 15. Um, what we saw here is the following, where um, we were able to identify activity A as being in this critical path because we noted how the uh, early start was equivalent to late start and early finish was equivalent to late finish. We see the same pattern in activity B, activity C, F, G, and H. So what this says is that our critical path is the following, A, B, C, F, G, and H. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to define this term called float. And so float is equivalent to your late finish minus your early finish. Try to spell nicely. And it's also equivalent to your late start minus your early start. And so in these cases, what we're going to do if we take activity E, so like question that you would get asked on an exam is, what is the float for E? Well, in our case, what we can do is we would do the following. So we would subtract the late finish from the early finish, and therefore float would be equal to 10, sorry, 15 minus five, which is equal to, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, 15 minus 10, which is equal to five days. And so what this five days tells us is that activity E can be delayed for up to five days and have no effect on our overall project. So a question you could get asked is if E takes, let's call it seven days, will it affect the project duration? And your project duration was found by doing your forward pass through this scheduled network diagram previously. And what we learned was that our project duration was 18 days. So the question is, if instead of three days, which is what we originally thought E was supposed to take, if E took seven days, will we ruin or will we fall behind in our overall project? And so what we see here is that this float value of five days is telling us that E can take up to eight days, which is three plus five. And as long as we're taking less than eight days on project or task E, it will not affect us. So the answer to this question is no. So um, that is the reason why we care about float in these processes is that it's helping us identify, you know, if it's okay that, you know, we're a little bit slower to paint rooms in a hotel, for instance, um, you know, that's okay just within a certain margin, like what is the margin of error we've got um, before we start realizing some issues. Um, and then what you will see again to reiterate is that on your critical path, all activities on critical path have no float. 
is equal to zero. So basically, if any of these activities, A, B, C, F, G, or H, take longer than we anticipated, if A takes three days instead of two days, we're going to be adding a day to our project's deadline. That's the reason why we care so much about things that are on our critical path, because they're basically the bottleneck in our project. So um, that is going to wrap things up for this discussion on uh, Float and how it ties into the schedule network diagrams that we've been creating. Hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you all for watching.